Hello guys. Welcome to my channel. I am Samantha the introvert. Today I will be giving my personal review on episode 2 of our Sky 2. I already did my reviews on episodes 1. Links are in the description below, along with all the episodes of Never Let Me Go. So without further ado, let's get into it. Palm was having a great dream about him and Noong on the beach making out until Noong splashed water on him to wake him up. Noong said Palm need to act less affectionate towards him because Petch thinks Noong cast a spell on Palm and that Palm should talk to his servant to gain their trust. Palm is telling everyone that Noong will be teaching everyone some foreign language, mostly English. I swear as soon as Noong spoke English, it's like a different genre. But let's be real why is it when non-English speakers speaks English their tone and their voice change? There is no privacy for slaves when it comes to showering. But dang Palm doesn't care. He is ready to show all goods as long as he with Noong. Noong said that the past three years they were apart, all he do is send birthday wishes by videos and that's why he decided to go back to Thailand so he can celebrate Palm's birthday. Someone came to Noong asking about the foreign language he taught them, but Palm had to hide. Petch saw Noong and told him that he saw him and Palm kissing. Then show Noong the bracelet. But my question is where he found it and how he knew that Noong was looking for it. Petch said that in the night he saw Palm and Noong was looking for something under the tree, so he went and saw the bracelet. Noong then told Palm that Petch found the bracelet. Noong said Petch will give them the bracelet if Noong agrees to help him get the jewel maker in the market to basically go out with him romantically. Petch also said he likes men, but he is not very brave to be open about it. And I totally get it because it is basically taboo for that type of love. Noong is giving Palm a paper and a pencil so they can both write the reason why they love each other, then bury it next to the tree. I feel like this is what the fortune teller meant when he said to go at the place they first reveal their love vows. So they at the market and Petch is showing them the guy he likes. And Palm said that Petch have good taste, but Petch doubt himself. But I just want to say I take back all the bad things I said about Petch it's just his future self did bad. They are giving him all the ideas to get the guy attention. But I don't think Petch understood but he willing to try. So far so good, he is doing great. But the big thing is, will he get a good result? They told Petch that if he and the vendor look into each other's eyes and it lasts 7 seconds, then it is truly meant to be. But it didn't last 7 seconds. But the second attempt, when Petch asked the vendor to help him put the jewel on, Petch looked back at the vendor and the 7 second was a complete success. Palm came out his room, and as he came out, Noong and the other servants sang happy birthday to him and got a fruit to be the cake. Noong said he had a song written for Palm's birthday but there is no piano so he is telling Palm a poem. Noong showing Palm, he got the bracelet. They figured if they put on the bracelet and embrace, it will bring them back to their timeline. But nothing happened. These two are too cute. I'm glad they end up together. Hold up. Ain't they the guys they were running from in the alleyway? Maybe that's why they didn't get to go home because they haven't finished business. Palm said he have a plan to get back home and it is to create a situation similar to the one that got them in the past. Palm picked a fight. And of course it includes the blade. I hope they do get to go home or they will die for nothing. The three men find out that Palm and Noong are lovers and deem them from being together in the next life because they say it's wrong. Palm was right. The same situation got them back to their future world. They woke up at the same place they were, but the thugs are gone. They then recall that the fortune teller told them to go where they first had their love vows, so now they have to go to the big tree. Noong searched the internet and found the house Lord Poramet was in the past. Then they said when they get to the house they then can go to the forest and that's where they can find the big tree. They're at the house and Palm is scared because he thinks there is ghost but then saw someone from a distance and got scared. But he just did that to see what Noong would do. Hold up, ain't he the bully? But you have to admit he looks fine. I don't know what he been doing for himself but he looks good. Noong asked Fum why he is here and Fum said he inherited the manor and said his father told him his ancestor was close to Lord Poramet and because Lord Poramet didn't have children they passed it down to his close friend and that was Petch. Palm asked Fum how did Lord Poramet died. And Fum said his father's great-grandfather told him that the Lord die of old age. But I feel it's a cover story. History seems to repeat itself. But I wonder what he do. And who is he to Fum? 
Okay. This is Fum's boyfriend and his name is Can. Fum is a realtor and Can is a jewel maker. They found the tree and found where they buried their love vows. They decided to read each other's messages. Breeze was blowing and Palm said maybe the curse has lifted because they did exactly as the fortune teller said. Two weeks later and they're back at the manor and Noong said he wants to buy the place as a memory of the past life. Noong asked Palm what he planned to do when he go to do his bachelor's and Palm showed his passport along with his plane ticket indicating he is going with Noong. I see why he was practicing the language. Okay guys, that is the end of my review on episode 2 of our Sky 2. Stay tuned for my review on episode 3. Disclaimer the next episode will be about another couple with two episode but it will be episode 1 and 2 but I will be continue counting all the way to episode 16. So, as always, if you like my review, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you never miss a video, and I will see you next time. Bye.